Good morning all, it's Luke here from the UK. I'm going to be reviewing the Carbide 3D Touch Probe today. Uh, I've got a short unboxing video which we'll have a look at in a second. Uh, just having a look at the product and seeing what's offered. Now I'm pretty keen to be reviewing this because uh, they announced this uh, early part of this year I believe and I've been waiting a while to get my hands on one. Now I won this as an uh, entry for a competition on the Carbide 3D site. Um, pretty cool prize, at least I like to think so. Um, so firstly I'd like, just like to thank everyone for voting for my designs on there. Now back to the video and back to the probe at hand. Now the idea of these probes is to find the datum on the corner of a piece of work. So essentially be finding this very edge, allowing you to mill the rest of the work piece um, from one point. Now you could use that on an existing design where you're trying to do two-sided milling, I guess, or if you're just doing simple uh, one-sided designs, that would also help. But it's really important to find this datum point because if you want to, say, mill some circles just here, for instance, you need to ensure you set the correct point here for the starting point. Um, probably a little bit simplistic view of what a datum is and, and where you get it, but um, I find it really useful to ensure I'm starting in the same place on a work on a work piece when I'm doing things like tool changes, etc. Especially when you're changing from a say one eighth bit um, going down or going up to a one quarter inch bit. Now, this box today. It arrived by FedEx in a much larger box. As you can see, um, it's around about 12 and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres by about two. Um, for the Yanks out there, I reckon it's probably about five inches by five inches by an inch. Now, if we have a look inside, we've got some documentation or instructions, nice and simple. Um, we've got what looks to be the touch probe there. Let's have a look, see. Cables, Got some more bits and pieces out, let's pop those out, and that's the, the box empty. So it doesn't look like it requires much instructions. So let's lay it all out. We've got our touch probe, we've got an alligator clip with what looks to be a ground wire, and we have another clip with a couple of wires coming out, which I'd assume is to allow the the probe to connect to different versions of the carbide motion controller. So if we have a look first at this clip. Um, it's not very exciting. It looks like quite a, a long length of wire with an alligator clip and a little screw hole there due to a fix to me. I'm assuming that's going to be a ground cable um, or something similar. I, I don't know what this is for as yet, but we'll look into that later. And here's the actual probe. So it's got a good bit of weight to it, probably weighs a couple of hundred grams, maybe a hundred grams. It's got some nice thick cabling come out, which actually that's quite good because uh, at the end of the day you don't want it getting damaged. And it also looks like a good length of cable, so anyone who's got the XXL, they should be able to use that, I imagine. Um, now looking at the front, we've also got their logo, we've got their circle there, and what I believe is the LED. Now I think the purpose of this circle is just to ensure you know where you're starting your um, probing. So you position your piece over this and it will probe the free edges. Looking at the side, okay, you can see we've got a, a recess there which is all sealed up. Nice edge there and it looks to be about three millimeters deep or so. Um, so it looks, it looks very substantial. Now I suppose the good thing about having it covering about three millimeters there is that you can use it on shallow work pieces. I mean, you could probably probe Z at around about three mil, I reckon, maybe slightly less. Um, it's got a nice industrial finish to it. I can't tell whether it's cast or milled aluminium. I imagine it'd be um, a mixture of the two. It looks very nice, I say it's industrial and it looks good. Um, I think really that's probably it, all we can say from the unboxing. Um, I'll go and connect this up and we'll see what it's like to use. Thanks for watching guys, more videos to come.